as a boy because a boy can get work and be safe, whereas a girl is left to starve for want of proper employment. Unknown to her, Capitola, and this is capitalism they're talking about here, has a very rich elderly guardian who finds her at, provi at a providential moment and takes her back to his palatial mansion where she finds herself decomposing above ground for want of having my blood stirred the blood rites and this is talking about the crucifixion of the Christ right so this is all coded as you learn to read the signs books like this come in important because then they tell it they talk to each other in this format in the books right here's another reference for you this is about the governments and how they manipulate governments, right? This one, the secret world government or the hidden hand, right? A radical, sometimes offensive book tells the author's idea about government, religion, world power, the Rothschilds and money. He also describes the hidden hand, the secret government of the world. So there's no secret there's a secret government. Watch this. Eisenhower presidency. Right? Now, watch the description for the book. Watch the description. All right, fam. This is the 822 on the um, Hegelian di dialectic. Uh, um, War of Idiots. <clears throat> And um, we're going to get into some stuff. I'm going to do some invites. I need some music. This shit ain't working. Uh, so we're going to talk about current events from the perspective of uh, one who sees through the deception versus one who sees the deception. There is a difference. The deception is designed to interrupt your ascension process. The deception is designed by motherfuckers who think we don't got no self-control, we don't have no thinkers on our team, and that we're going to all just do the dumbest shit in the world every time they tell us to do some dumb shit. We're going to go over analysis, you know, questions that we should be asking. Whether we're asking them or not is the question. And then whether we actually trying to resolve the unanswered question we just asked. This is some bullshit. I'm going to tell y'all why in a minute. But the bottom line is this. The goal is to make y'all do they bidding. Right? You know what I mean by that. It's some motherfuckers look like us pulling the strings. The first thing y'all got to understand. The second thing y'all got to understand is death is no enemy to man. <clears throat> the reason why we are up in arms right now is because they want us, motherfuckers that look like us, to prove to them that we ain't got no sense of self, self-control or nothing. I seen some shit I ain't like. I seen these motherfucking signs that say Black Lives Matter. First of all, that's not a black organization. It don't got nothing to do with nobody that look like us. It was funded, created, and bankrolled by what you call Jewish elites. George Soros, is the kingmaker is what they call him, is his program. It's supposed to work. Soros is also the same motherfucker who bankrolled the Obama campaign. George Soros is the same motherfucker who bankrolled and spearheaded Black Lives Matter movement clandestine wise. I immediately got pissed off when I realized that this shit was planned. How did I get to the determination that this was some planned shit is the first question that a motherfucker should be asking me. So I'm going to tell you that answer right fucking now. 
In the history of African American, Native American, or Caucasian American protest, there has never been protesters fluently organized in 24 hours, ever. Never. 48 hours, and they never happened. And it never happened in a week. It's never happened before. All of a sudden, they got Black Lives Banner, Black Lives Matter banners flying. George Soros, signature of the cabal, the deep state. And these motherfuckers is hitting these streets on cue. Just like a good actor should. And y'all fall for this shit. Now, everybody got their own, you know, way of looking at this shit. But I'm gonna get into this shit. Cause I'm not, uh, I'm not really with this bullshit at all. We got a peace treaty that's just been ratified from what they call street gangs. We all tribes in this motherfucker. We was on some tribal shit to reclaim our shit, and they villainized us. So y'all don't even know who the police is. Since y'all don't know who the police is, it's like I'm going to have to tell y'all. Uh, police is not a public organization. Their job is not to serve and protect. Their job is not to enforce the Constitution. Their job is not to uphold the laws of this land. The police job is none of the above. Their only job is to maintain control for the system that we live in. That's their only job. Whatever method that they use to maintain control of their system is whatever method they use. So the only option we really have, if you go take your dumb ass up there trying to shoot it out with them motherfuckers, I'll see you when you get back the next time because you probably going to be stuck. This is the dumbest shit. Niggas can't be this dumb, but they is. They're falling for it. I know they're falling for it because I'm watching them fall for it. If they wasn't falling for it, I wouldn't even be saying that. This is supposed to be a celebratory video um, acknowledging these thug niggas, gang bangers, these street niggas, the hoods, the homies, them boys, you know, depending on where you at, them dogs, them gorilla motherfuckers up the block, all them motherfuckers and decided that we ain't buying this bullshit no more. And they done all got together and they done all ratified the first ever agreement between what they call street gangs across the world. <laughs> While the world was shutting down and they was plotting our demise, we was laughing at them because we was already preparing for this shit. Now, if you look like us and participate in this mainstream media fiasco, then you are definitely diet woke ass nigga. <clears throat> Definitely diet woke. Soon as you see Black Lives Matter banners and you see the level of organization in less than 24 hours, this is not possible. This has to be pre scripted, pre written, pre planned. They had to already know what they was going to do. They had to already have what you call your routes mapped out. You had to already have the state on alert or else they're going to bring the National Guard in there and bust your ass. This shit is not, this shit is so motherfucking obviously. Now, let's back up for a minute because it would sound insensitive uh, about the brother who was uh, being kneed in the, in the neck. I didn't seen that shit before. That's a common police tactic. To restrain the individuals, to put their foot in your neck, your back, your face, your throat. That's common. That ain't no new shit. We acting like this some new shit they just started doing yesterday. It's not no new shit. So I'm I'm done with my advice. Whoever ain't in this motherfucker don't need to be in here. All right. So we sit here and we try to figure out solutions to the biggest problems that face our people and. Every time we start making some headway, a police shoot. A pol the same shit they did in the 60s. 
the exact same shit. But we got a contingency plan for that in play. We not going to do no dumb shit. We not going to go up there on these motherfuckers watch and just go randomly busting motherfuckers. We don't fight the fool's war. Now, people that look like me, people that don't look like me, if you blind hair, blue eyed motherfucker, I don't give a fuck. People that know how to think is the question. If you know how to think, ask yourself this. It's real simple. Ask yourself this. Why every time we start having a lull in the uh, chaos, they throw some more shit out there like this. How come they don't never show them shooting them unarmed, innocent white folks? Don't nobody ask that question because you're so caught up on the oppression of the past that many of us, if you're under 30, you ain't experienced that shit. So you don't even really know what a real motherfucker foot on your neck feel like if you under 30. You know what you think it feel like. But any motherfucker over 30 will tell you, motherfucker, this shit been easy. This shit easy. So now here's, here's the kicker. What is the end game? If you go up there and start shooting it out with the police, what is the end game? See, somebody sent me a video of this dumbass nigga on here talking about he calling motherfuckers from all over the country to meet him with their firearms in Minneapolis, Minnesota, or wherever the fuck that shit was. I'm listening to this nigga, but he don't sound like he got no goddamn end game. He sound like he just want to go up there and tear some shit up for the sake of tearing some shit up. I mean... I'm, 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 I'm the first motherfucker to ride, and, and the niggas that know me will tell you that I'm the first motherfucker, and I don't need nobody to go with me. See, this is why you, this is how you know where the real motherfucking G's at. Anytime a nigga tell you to come meet him somewhere with firearms on social media, he just sets your ass up for murder. He sets your ass up for a suicide mission. You finna die. They're going to be waiting on your dumb ass when you, you get with your firearms. you on a suicide mission. A motherfucker call you on social media, put it on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, MySpace, YoSpace, whatever the fuck you put it on on social media. Put it on the World Wide Web for the world to see this shit like you're going to actually tell the enemy, meet me on the battlefield. And they're going to be more prepared than you. And you expect to actually win. What's your fucking end game, nigga? What's your fucking end game? My end game is motherfuckers living in the lap of luxury. That's my end game. What's your end game doing the dumb shit? See, I negotiated a treaty with the niggas that they scared of. Because the niggas that they scared of got enough sense to know that shit ain't, that, that ain't going to work. That shit ain't gonna work. You not gonna march your ass down there in one of these in city in this country and half of the countries in the world and just go to shooting out with the police like this shit is gonna be gravy. Motherfucker, remember what happened to Joseph Senku? He tried that shit. They blew that nigga the fuck off the face of the fucking earth. They didn't shoot him. They blew that nigga entirely off the face of the entire goddamn earth they probably couldn't even find his goddamn fragments. How bad they blowed him up. They know the, the Irishman, I forget his, they blowed that motherfucker to smithereens. They don't give a fuck what you look like. They got an agenda. Stop pushing their agenda on a defensive. They making you move where they want you to move. You following the strategy they telling you to follow. It's a losing strategy. I don't want to lose. I uh, fuck that shit. I I'm not losing. I'm not losing. So I just I figured that, you know, if I'm one of Larry boys and, you know, I hang out with Jeff boys, we can send some motherfucking kites up the land. Niggas have been locked up. Know what I'm talking about? Send these kites up the land, nigga. We got to get some get the niggas on the street. What what he say on that uh, on the um. Ghetto Boys resurrected them that the them real niggas, the street niggas, that 40% apathetic vote. But we ain't voting. We dictating this bitch. That's where the position we move it to. And y'all can be some goddamn fools. 
let a half cocked ass, militant motherfucking, ignorant ass motherfucker walk y'all into destruction. That's y'all. I tear some shit up, but it, if it ain't gonna serve no purpose, then I'm not tearing nothing up. I'm not gonna tear my own shit up because I'm mad at another motherfucker. That just don't work for me. The fuck, I get mad at you and bust my own windows out and set my house on fire. That don't work for me. That's not gonna help my people, and it fucking gonna do them again, cause me more problems. I don't want more problems. I'm trying to get rid of problems. And these niggas steady doing the same diet woke ass. I'm a conscious, militant ass nigga, but you're doing dumb shit. Follow the strategy of war. You cannot go wrong if you follow the rules of war. The rule of war say know your motherfucking self. Know your enemy. Victory is assured. It's better to win one victory by strategy than a thousand victories by combat. How do you get a motherfucker to surrender his, his uh, position of dominance? You lure him onto a battlefield he has no control over. That's what the fuck you do. You bait that nigga in. You trick him. You use what you know he gonna respond to according to the nature of the human being. If a motherfucker see you, see a motherfucker look like them, and some motherfuckers don't look like them, and they got their foot, neck, elbow, or something in his neck, and he killed that motherfucker, and you not mad, then you not feeling the right emotion. You supposed to be mad. The first thing you got to understand, you already supposed to be pissed off. So why in the fuck ain't they showing you other motherfuckers? Because they don't want you making no alliances with no motherfuckers called Aryans. I made alliance with the Aryan nation. They don't want you talking to a nigga that's called a KKK because you don't know their history. They stole that shit from Moors, niggas that look like this hiding under sheets. So we made what white boys put on sheets to take that shit. The mother start out as no motherfucking crackers. Y'all motherfuckers better wake the fuck up and get your head out your ass. These niggas is going to follow these motherfuckers straight to your destruction. The blind lead the blind. They all end up in a fucking ditch. The treaty saying, that shit sealed. I'm just waiting on my motherfucking receipt. But all of these dumb, yeah, dumb ass up there, follow that dumb ass nigga who pretend like he knows some military shit, put on some dark shades, cut his hair off to make you niggas think he official. He's an official fucking idiot. I don't know what the fuck that nigga name is, but that nigga can come see me. He can meet me at the Phoenix Center downtown Pontiac, nigga. We can get this shit straight. That nigga ain't for us. He probably one of them bitch ass niggas I'm talking about used to wear the white sheets so that the niggas don't know them ain't no white folks that's over there burning crosses on their front yard. And these dumb ass niggas ain't woke up to the play yet. I mean, come on, man. <clears throat> I don't got no problem going to war. Matter of fact, I, I, lo I love that shit. I love busting motherfuckers in they shit. I like the sound and the smell of the motherfucking gunpowder and the motherfucking capping. I'm with all that shit. But if I'm not going to win and I don't have an opportunity to win because I didn't do no strategizing, then I don't want no parts of that's a damn. I'm not going on nobody dummy mission. I ain't no fucking coach Seavers. I ain't your fucking fall guy. And you ain't finna be calling these motherfucking real G's up there. You ain't finna participate in that dumb shit. Ain't no ain't none of the GDs going up there to do no dumb shit. Ain't no stones going up there to do no dumb shit. Ain't no vice lords and no crips and no bloods, nigga. We work too goddamn hard to iron our motherfucking community out and bring OGs together that was bloodthirsty scrap bunch to their die ass enemies to get this shit to this point. And y'all gonna let these motherfuckers with they sell out ass niggas bait y'all into some dumb shit. I believe y'all motherfuckers fall for that shit. Sooner or later, y'all niggas gonna wake up. Y'all can't keep falling for these okie-dokie ass moves. This shit is so motherfucking, this shit is more comedic than a cartoon. These niggas look like cartoons. Y'all don't see these niggas or animated ass motherfuckers? Ain't, these motherfuckers can't think. If you follow a motherfucker can't think, where you gonna end up? Where you gonna end up? Look. The... Hegelian dialectic say, control both sides of the conflict. What is the defense for the Hegelian dialectic? First, you have to know when the antagonism takes place. That's the first part, because they have to antagonize you to get you to do the dumb shit. 
No, you didn't. You needed to post that dumbass shit. You definitely needed to post that dumbass shit so that when I tell these motherfuckers how dumb that nigga is, then they'll know who the fuck I'm talking about. 